Hi, this is Dr. Ankita, one of the doctors here. How may I call you? Sushila is fine. Sushila, uh, at the outset, let me ask you, are you comfortable with English or would you like to have an interpreter? Uh, no, doctor, it is fine. I can talk. All right. Uh, may I confirm your age, please? I'm 24. And what is it that you do? I am a housewife. Sushila, I believe uh, this, uh, you have done certain scans in your pregnancy and the GP has referred you here for discussion of the same. Is, it, is that right? Yeah, doctor. Actually, GP told me there is an issue with the neck of the womb uh, and I may require some more treatments. Uh, surely, uh, Sushila, I would be discussing all your concerns. Before that, is it okay if I ask you a couple of questions to know you better? Yes, sure. So Sheila, can you tell me if you have any current complaints like any discharge or bleeding? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, any uh, disturbances in the bowel or bladder? No. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me if you've been pregnant in the past? Yeah, I have had one pregnancy two years ago. It was mm -hmm. uh, rather rocky. Uh, I had it back in India. Um, I delivered at seven months uh, and uh, the baby needed hospitalization for some time. All right. And uh, so sorry to hear that. Uh, how is the baby doing currently? Yes, she's doing okay now. All right. And was it a spontaneous uh, delivery? Uh, vaginal delivery was it? Yes, I went in an early labor. That's what they said. And they had to do the delivery. Did they tell you any particular cause for the early labor? No, nothing. All right. Any other complications in the pregnancy that you had? No. Back then? No. Any medical diseases that you have? No. Any surgeries in the past or any surgery particularly on the neck of the womb? Uh, no, Dr. Nan. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't mind me asking, in the past, have you had any uh, sexually transmitted infections? No. Any, um, how, how are you supported at home? Are you well supported? My husband supports, yes. All right. Do you have any particular allergies? No. Uh, don't mind me asking, do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. What about alcohol? No, no. Any recreational drugs? No, Dr. Manot. Are you aware of your blood group? It's A positive. And your weight for height ratio? 22. Any reservation to blood transfusion? No. If needed? No. In the past few weeks, have you felt, felt low or depressed? No, Dr. Nothing particularly. All right. And certain women in situation like yours, may have a past history of, uh, you know, uh, abuse at home. Is there any particular history, s such history for you in your case? No, doctor. My husband is very supportive. All right. Uh, thank you for all that information. Is there anything else you would like to add? Um, nothing comes to mind. I just am concerned what, what is this wrong with my neck of the womb? Yes, yeah, surely I will discuss that. So I have confirmed that this is your report with your name and NHS number. Is there anyone else with you here as I would be giving you a lot of information? No, doctor, it's fine. All right. So Sheila, I would like to tell you that there is some, some concerning news. As you rightly said that there is a, uh, as far as the neck of the womb is concerned, uh, let me draw it for you over here. This is the womb and this is the neck of the womb and the neck of the womb supports the entire pregnancy. So here, what we can see here is that the neck of the womb has shortened more than uh, the usual length of the neck of the womb at this stage in the pregnancy. And this may mean that you would be at an increased risk of having a preterm labor once again, or even, an, even a miscarriage. I'm really sorry to be the bearer of this news. But doctor, why does this keep happening? What do we do? Uh, as of now, from your history or even from your past history, we are not able to find a particular cause as such, but it can happen sometimes without any cause, particular cause. There are things that we can do to reduce these risks. 
Uh, should I proceed with that? Yeah, please. Yes. So there is something that we call as cervical stitch that we can insert on the neck of the womb. There are other options like progesterone pessaries as well as another device that is called as arabin pessary. So as far as the insertion of the cervical stitch is concerned, it is a procedure that use, is usually done in an operation theater. You would be having a spinal anesthetic that would make your, uh, you numb from the waist down below. Or you may even be offered a general anesthesia, that is, you would be put to sleep. And a stitch would be inserted through your vagina onto the neck of the womb and tightened in order to prevent early delivery. Am I clear so far? Yes. Well, uh, there are, as any with any procedure, there are certain risks with this particular procedure as well, which usually is a straightforward procedure and goes without risks. However, there may be slight increased risk of spotting or an infection or injury to the bladder or injury to the neck of the womb as well. Sometimes your waters may break early and you may sometimes, it may not be uh, uh, possible to put the stitch at all. For example, if the cervix becomes or the neck of the womb becomes too short. Am I clear so far? Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. uh, the stitch may or not always uh, work and you might still experience a late miscarriage or preterm birth. I'm afraid to say that. Um, so a cervical stitch does not increase your chances of needing an induction of labor or cesarean section. And after the operation, you may have some spotting or brownish discharge for a day or two, which is uh, normal in, your, in this situation. Once you recover from the surgery, you can carry on your usual activities. Resting in bed is not really recommended. And you can have sexual intercourse if you do feel comfortable to do so. All right. Yes, you would need to okay. yes so you would need to see us in case of any excessive bleeding or waters break or in, in case of any contractions that you experience uh, you may be uh, worried about as to when the stitch would be removed so the stitch would be removed in uh, it would be planned at around 36 to 37 weeks in the pregnancy and you will not normally need an anesthetic to have the stitch removed. A speculum would be inserted into the vagina and the stitch can be cut and you can be allowed to have a vaginal delivery depending on the situation then. Am I clear so far? Yes. If you do go in labor earlier, then we may need to remove the stitch earlier in order to prevent any further trauma to the cervix, that is the neck of the womb. Okay. All right. And so also if your waters break, that may increase the chance of an infection and we may still need to remove the stitch. Am I clear so far? Yes. So as far as the second option is concerned, the progesterone, you could choose to have the progesterone pessaries that could be inserted into the vagina from 16 weeks and it could be continued till 34 weeks of the pregnancy. And it is generally safe for the baby if that is what you're worried about. All right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, doctor, can we uh, you know, put the stitch and also use the pessary? Well, if the circlage is inserted, additional progesterone is not currently recommended and it does not really help additionally. All right? Okay. Uh, so let me go to the third option. That is the Arabin pessary. It is a ring-like device that holds on to the cervix, uh, keeping it, in, it from opening. It is quick and easy method and does not need any anesthetic. We may need to have swabs for infection and you may experience vaginal discharge subsequently. So current evidence regarding this pessary is still limited. Am I clear so far? Uh, yes, doctor. Uh, what I do is I need to discuss with my husband and I can get back to you. Yes, you can do that. You could, we could have your, an appointment with your husband as well and discuss the same. I know going through all this can be a bit stressful for you. So we do have counselors and support groups for you. All right. I would be giving you certain written information and I would document this yes. discussion and discuss with the consultant, of course. Yes. Am I clear? Any questions? Yes. No, that was very thankful. I mean, uh, helpful for me. Thank you so much.